so it is immersed so the liquid inside this This is some conical capillary pipe, no? So able to see the diagram? I just uh, shaded that particular thing. Okay. okay, let's get into the problem. So what is it? There's a basic question. <coughs> uh, I think first you have to read once you read it. Huh? Let, let, let me set right the diagram here. conical pipe If you want, you can extend further. I think this will be sufficient. Eh? Okay, I'll extend further. Um, how the meniscus meniscus will take shape. Hmm, it will rise to IH. Diagram is very important. Once once you get to the diagram, a little bit easy, very simple mass is there, we can manage. Hmm. Okay, no, uh, conical uh, capillary tube. Let's get into the, okay, this is the meniscus. Okay, now, draw all the things, what all, what all, whose help you can take it now, take help of it. Shouldn't actually such questions you have to fight with it. Huh? You should try that one. So taking teacher's help, I think uh, it's advanced question or more or so taking teacher's help is something not advisable. That's what I feel. See, you are going to write same exam. And if you take teacher's help, then, then tomorrow what you do in exam? So ITJ is not about collection of questions, please. Huh? Uh, what are things like, what is alpha? What is alpha? Alpha is what? A calculate tube of shape of truncated cone with an apex angle alpha so that <coughs> it's two ends have cross section of different radii. I think it's, uh, it's understood. Let's get into, okay, I think till here, I think what I can help you. These are the some points which I'm interested. This is the H. Are all of you seeing this is air. So th this is that capillary tube of liquid suffocation of water. It's a water, no? It has rise and density is given. A angle of contact is given. Where I should draw angle of contact? This is the angle of contact. So here I'll proceed like this. So this is what we use method, no? I should draw a tangent. So this should be the theta.
then this should be the theta. I'm drawing with the vertical. Uh, any, any angle for this? What can be anybody angle for this? If you can tell this, I think problem is over. Diagram little bit inclined. I'll, I'll make it. Okay, see now. Uh, anybody, what can be this angle? Alpha by two. Okay, fine. Yeah. Uh, get ready for uh, next. Uh, what is the meniscus? We have to show the radius of curvature. So this should be the. Now, what is this angle? Let it be beta. Now, shall we call this is the radius of meniscus? I think we have to fight with the geometry and nothing is there. This is the radius of meniscus. Uh, what is the radius B? It's telling something, some symbol is given. No? Uh, where the radius of its cross section is B. So what do we expect the B? B should be this one. Huh? Okay, fine. So this much is what I I do brought it here now. What is the pressure at this point? P naught. What will be the pressure at this point? Should be P naught. Pressure at that point. So th these are the points, let me take it. So le let me write here. There's a one, two, three, and four. So what is the pressure at one, three, four? Pressure at one, three, four is P naught. See any method, I'm just uh, going in detail. Manometric equation, pressure at two rho GH minus P3 equal to zero. Pressure at two, keep it as it is, rho GH. P3 is P naught. Uh, what is the question that uh, the value of h will be is asking expression for h so some more if i can get p2 problem is solved so what is a p1 first anything a relation between beta alpha by 2 and theta uh, how, how these two green color and red color lines will be because this is drawn, this is a normal, no? This is a normal, normal to meniscus, it is. And what is this? Tangential to meniscus. Okay, fine. So therefore, what is this, this total angle? Total angle should be, <coughs> this should be 90 plus alpha by two, 90 minus alpha by two plus theta. A, a, able to understand now? So therefore, what is a beta plus 90 minus alpha by two plus theta should be equal to 90. So therefore, beta equal to alpha I do alpha by two plus theta. I think problem is solved once you can get this relationship. Now, uh, what is the cos beta? Can we write it? Cos beta should be equal to b by r. And what is further cos? You can write it as alpha by two plus theta. So what is R is equal to B by cos of 
alpha by 2 plus theta. Okay, let's write pressure rate 192. Pressure rate 1 equal to P2 plus 2 times surface tension S0, no? S by R. Pressure rate 1, P0. Pressure rate 2, P0 minus rho GH, 2S. What is R? R will be B by P not get cancelled, so x so this should be zero equal to minus of rho g h plus two s cos of alpha by two plus theta by b. Solving this. Two s cos of alpha by two plus theta by rho g b fine so we have to fight with the diagram and again this one uh, now now see what is the advantage here thinking like this some problems i'm using the pressure idea some problems i'll use the weight method <laughs> i think i shown two methods Component of force due to surface tension will balance the weight of liquid and in some problems i'm using the pressure method both both are valid. Huh? Don't stick on to one. Depending upon the numerical, it has to be picked up. And now you can ask questions, sir. Why you didn't go for force due to surface tension will balance? Okay, I think this will we can can we write this is F dash. What is F dash? Force due to surface tension. It will be very difficult for us to what find out the weight of the liquid column here because we don't have information of radius here. So for weight method, force due to surface will balance the weight of liquid column. What is the weight of liquid column here? We can't find out. So therefore, this method is advisable. Getting the method? This is, okay, let's take the next one. Ah, this is the best question. 